Alright y'all, so today's the first day I can get out in the woods and do a little deer hunting. We'll see how we do. So I want to start off the video and kind of explain a little bit about this property. Um, this property is a little under 10 acres and uh, we've got several deer coming in as you can see in the video. And uh, it's got neighbors on both sides and one of the neighbors has probably over 50 acres or more. So, you know, we've got a little bit of distance and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not a lot to be hunting with rifle. So we choose to hunt with uh, bow or crossbow only. So I've got a deer coming in here to the right and uh, it looks like it's a doe. And I, on this piece of property, I've got several does coming in that have yearlings. So I just want to make sure that I get one that doesn't have any yearling. Now she's walking past feeder and I'm like, man, what's going on? She's still not even going to stop. So I'm like, all right, well, I got a perfect broad size, you know, shot. And it's like, I don't, you know, I don't want to take it yet because I want to make sure there's no yearlings coming. So I'm waiting and she's just standing there and all of a sudden she decides she's going to start walking. Well, she done pegged me. She caught my wind. On the right of the screen, there's another deer coming in. So, you know, at this point, I don't know if it's a, an older doe or a yearling or what. As you can see, it's a yearling and uh, kind of explains, you know, why she's acting the way she is. She didn't come straight into the fear. You know, she's going to check things out first. But the whole time, man, she's sitting up there and she's stomping her feet and just eyeball me, you know. And it's like, I, I know she can't see me, but she knows something ain't right. She's got my wind and she knows, you know, she knows I'm there. That baby, she finally caught my wind and ran up there by mama and, now, I know most people, you know, they think, well, you know, that, that baby is older, don't have spots no more, and, you know, it's not really dependent on his mom too much, and they would go ahead and take the shot, but, man, I just, I don't know, <clears throat> it's something with me, I just, I just can't do it. Then about an hour later, I start catching movement up along the tree line, this time up a little higher. So at that point, I didn't really know if uh, it was the same doe and yearling coming in or, or what it was, but. I fast forward a little bit because they was, they was up there for quite a while and uh, it's multiple deer this time. There's at least three there. So, you know, I, I wait and see. Sure enough, here it comes, two yearlings. So I knew this mom, I've got her on my camera quite a bit and uh, I knew, you know, she's she's got two yearlings with her. And like I said, I've got a bunch coming in with yearlings. So that's why I'm, you know, I'm not just taking any shot and I'm trying to be careful, but. So they feed around and they take off. You know, they, they catch my wind and I'm like, man, this is, this is ridiculous. About an hour later again, here come another doe. Well, I spot that white belly and I like to call her Pieball. I know she's not really Pieball, but I call her Pieball so I know who she is. And uh, I know that she's got two yearlings with her as well. So as you can see in the video, there's another deer up higher, you know, and uh, she's always tagging along with these three. I don't know if it's the mom or the mom or what, but at this point I'm like, okay, game on. So I figured, I know she don't have no yearlings, so I'm gonna try to get a shot on her and uh, try to make it happen. Well, she hangs out in the woods and uh, these other other uh, yearlings and the mom, they come down straight down to the feeder. And that older does, she sat up there in the woods for quite a while. But like I said, you know, with this piece of property, I want to make sure I get a good core and away shot. So 
uh, my adrenaline's rushing. I'm like, heck yeah, I'm going to finally get a shot. You know, all these, all these does I let walk and, uh, I'm waiting and <clears throat> she comes down and she gets, gets in there with the mother ones and they're just sitting there milling around and, you know, just eating and I'm just patiently waiting. a small soccer video something didn't happen with my good luck <laughs> hey listen you know that's what happens it is what it is you know sometimes when you're hunting you know public areas like that or neighborhoods you know you're gonna have people walk by and it, it ain't their fault you know it's just part of hunting so hey that's that's that urban hunting right <laughs> all right y'all so i hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully next time i can get a deer and you know get some better footage for y'all but Anyways, I appreciate y'all watching, and we'll catch y'all on the next adventure. Bye, y'all.